everybody welcome back to my channel different background as I'm sitting on the floor of my room the closet doesn't close properly because landlord special so anyways welcome I really like my coordinate today I'll put a picture of it here I'm really happy with the way it turned out I kind of just like threw it together this morning with the idea of like I wasn't sure what color scheme I wanted to do I was in between black and red and like browns and beiges I went with the black and red obviously and I really like it I used this vintage juicy couture top that I found at like a Salvation Army many years ago and I just feel like it works really well with Alita and it's also period appropriate <laughs> so yeah basically I just wanted to do a very casual sit down video I don't even really have like anything written out not that I ever do but I was just trying to think about like topics to talk about because after visiting Japan which I've realized a lot of Lolita's visited Japan the last like few months which is very interesting I wonder like why that is but very cool it's very cool to see everybody else's hauls and like their experiences but for me international travel is like not a very common thing for me I've only internationally traveled last year for the first time. I hope that I get to do it more often, but it is very expensive. And living in America, it's not the closest to other places, so um, it's not like I can take a cool train to a different country or something. But yeah, so I hope to visit other countries and I hope to go back to Japan someday in the future. And I think it'd be really cool to do, so I hope that that will happen. But after visiting Japan and seeing it through a J fashion lens, which I'm sure everybody who watches this channel who's been to Japan probably has done. Not like I'm that special for thinking that way, but I just noticed once I got back home how different I felt in the sense of wearing J fashion in public. Um, I've never been a person to be afraid to wear what I want to wear in public. I mean, there comes the uncomfortable parts of being the person that's sticking out and knowing that people are looking at you and then there's just not caring about what people think and you would think that that goes hand in hand and like oh if you don't care what people think then you don't think about um, people looking at you or being uncomfortable with knowing that people are looking at you um, and it's more about just the feeling that you get. It's not about the actual care that somebody is looking at you and possibly judging you in any form. Um, it's more just like the feeling of being watched or feeling like you're the different person. And I think it's great to be different, but I don't know if that makes any sense. I'm sure if you dress in fashion like this, you can understand what I'm trying to get at. But basically in Japan, before I wore Lolita, which I wore like J fashion centric things before I wore Lolita completely for a day in Japan. It was like my third or fourth day that I actually wore a full Lolita coordinate. And it was also the first day that I was going to take like many trains by myself and I was very scared about that because I don't live in a place that has public transport like that. I have done transport like that um, in Los Angeles and in New York City, but never by myself. I was going to be going to like Shibuya Station and um, Shinjuku and like a lot of popular areas and I always heard about how complicated those stations are and I played Persona 5 and that was always confusing. <laughs> My point is, is that I was not sure how it was gonna go, basically. I was afraid that I was going to like super stand out by being like a lost foreigner dressed in like a full Lolita coordinate um, because if it was America, I would have felt that way um, and 
I'm not even a foreigner in America, but you know, if you're in a different city too, you'll be like, I don't look like a native. So it's just like kind of an embarrassing feeling. Like you just don't want to like look like you're a mess. So I was afraid I was going to be like that. Thankfully, it was all smooth and good and I found my way okay and um, wearing Lolita was like the easiest thing ever. And it's not that I thought that anyone was going to say anything to me or even really necessarily give me dirty looks. Like I didn't think that like the people around me were going to be rude. It was more just like I was expecting the same feeling that I would have in America and especially more because I am a foreigner so I felt like I'd stick out even more so but I actually felt the most comfortable I've ever felt in my life wearing like a very extravagant fashion um and it was awesome and I got really used to that really fast because it just felt like I was just like hanging out with my friends or like in my own home and I didn't feel like anyone paid notice to me, which was like awesome. <laughs> and like, I think a lot of people who may judge people who wear fashion like this think that we're doing it for attention. And I feel like most of us feel the opposite. We're like, we don't want the attention. This is just like our way of self-expression. And I think, I mean, positive attention is nice, but it's just the feeling of being like, watched or looked at is like awkward right it's like it just feels embarrassing and weird so that is something i noticed in japan was just like super easy and like i just felt like everyone there was just they've they've seen it and they don't pay notice to it um and i mean like i don't know like i'm sure there's people who might have looked at me and thought something i don't, obviously like i can't i'm not a mind reader but my point is is that it felt very different and the coolest thing too is like going to places like harajuku or like just in the very populated areas of tokyo it was cool to see other people dressing in like alternative fashion even if it wasn't like lolita or even cutesy or even full-on like BK or gothic looks or anything like that like a lot of the trends right now seem to be very like Y2K um, centric and I think that's really cool too but it's really neat to see things like that be the what's on trend for the more alternative fashion people my point is is that it was just very cool to like it, i was just inspired like all the time seeing people's cool outfits and like admiring that and feeling like i was in a very cool place and going coming back to america which i don't live in like new york or something and i i have lived in la and i didn't even feel like this in los angeles <laughs> Um, I feel like in New York City I might feel this way if I lived there. I don't know. I've visited New York City a handful of times. Um, not recently, but I'd like to. But when I was there, I could see being alternative and feeling similar to how I did in Tokyo. I don't know, but um, basically being here where I am and not being like in this New York, New York City type of place. I just feel like alone um, again. <laughs> like I've already felt that way, but I just feel like it kind of amplified it once I got a taste of like seeing other people who had these like interesting fashions, like wearing them casually at the daily kind of thing, uh, shopping and stuff. It was just, and, and going to the boutiques that have like really cool fashion and stuff too, it was just kind of like, man, I wish that was like a thing that I could do all the time, like, and, and see all the time. Because like here, it's like, if there is a cool fashion boutique, it's like one, and it's like in a random strip mall or something like that. And it's like really tiny and they don't even really have much stock and like, I mean like it 
it's cool. Like I definitely would want to support those places. It's just more like, it's not a whole like shopping mall of those places. <laughs> and then like a whole like neighborhood of people who dress cool, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and I don't know, it just, I feel like it gives me a feeling of like, I wish that like that could be the case here. But going forward, it made me realize other things too, involving alternative fashion and involving how I feel about Lolita. Um, and I will always consider myself like a Lolita to some extent, but seeing so many like alternative fashions in person and like the trendiness and like boutiques and all those things like it made me realize that um I don't know how I feel about like the Lolita rules and guidelines and all of that I, I've obviously talked many times before about how I feel about those things and you guys know that I'm not like a fan of calling them the rules and I call them guidelines and all these things like that and and I get it I guess I just feel extra disconnected from it now that I like I almost would rather just not call my fashion Lolita um, and just like do whatever and call it like J fashion because I just don't know if I agree with a lot of the guidelines anymore. Like, um, like I guess I don't even know like what the guidelines are that would like really define at least my my preferred look in Lolita, which is like mainly like how you would see a lot of street snaps um, from like fruits and like mixed with like Lolita street snaps and like <laughs> I, I don't know how to explain it I guess it's just more like I don't see a guideline or rules to the way that I like to dress in my like main J fashion look, which I would consider Lolita most of the time, like old school or proto looks, but I'm kind of like, the only thing I can see that's like a consistent structure is like mainly having like a headpiece, a main piece being either a dress or a skirt, um, and then like leg wear and like a back. But like, when I think about that, I'm just like, well, that just kind of sounds like a patterned outfit that like, like a continued structure to an outfit. So <laughs> I don't know, like, I don't know if I'm sounding crazy right now when I'm talking about that. And I'm not saying that like, oh, you shouldn't follow the rules of Lolita. They like suck and they don't make any sense. If there's something that helps you, like definitely like, stick to that like I'm not telling anybody to change how they feel about anything this is just my own personal feelings towards them and and the label of using like a specific fashion type because I just don't feel like the label accurately describes like what I'm trying to convey if it means those specific guidelines I don't know if any of that made sense, but I just like, I don't care about it, I guess. I, the only thing I care about is the fact that like, I could be a part of a community of people who like similar things, like in fashion. And that's why I think old school is what I like, like to call myself the most, because I feel like that accurately describes the things that I like in the fashion the most but and i think is also the most like experimental question mark uh, i feel like old schoolers tend to have more of an open mind in that um in terms of straying away from the typical traditional guide book guideline but yeah i mean that was just a personal rant that, I mean, not really rant, not like I'm really upset about anything, but it's just something that was on my mind that I felt like talking about. And let me know 
how you guys feel. Have you ever thought that? Or if I made sense at all? Again, this is totally a disclaimer. Not telling you to change your mind about the rules or the guidelines or saying like I don't understand them in a way of like I get why they're there, like I get the reason why people like them, um, the preservation and all of that stuff. I understand that. This is just my own like mind thinking about my own personal style. Um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts and sorry that I rambled a bunch but thanks for sticking with me. I'll see you later. Bye.